Welcome to the Let's Get Entrepreneurial podcast, your go-to resource for navigating the world of entrepreneurship. As entrepreneurs, we're no strangers to challenges and setbacks. Our ability to adapt, innovate, and persevere is what sets us apart. A growth mindset not only allows us to navigate these obstacles, but also fuels our creativity, resilience, and long-term success. This episode will dive into practices you can implement to cultivate a growth mindset, enhance your leadership skills, and ultimately elevate your business to new heights. Our podcast addresses tools and concepts that are useful for the launch and growth of entrepreneurial ventures. Your two hosts will be Professor Gary Palin and serial entrepreneur Ryan Budden. Hello, Ryan. How are you doing today? Fantastically. Feeling a little lighter without the beard, but I'm doing well. I wish you would have let me know and I would have gone to buy some stock in Gillette. Yeah, <laughs> it took a while. <laughs> yeah, I would imagine. Ryan, today I wanted to talk uh, about the mindset and personal development of someone starting a business, because as we discussed and agree upon that entrepreneurship is more of a thought process, it's important to have the correct mindset when you're developing a business and when you're growing a business. Especially for first-time entrepreneurs, because there's no playbook that anyone can follow exactly to get themselves there. Definitely. What are your thoughts overall on what type of mindset should someone look at or ultimately try to develop when they're starting a business versus actually growing one? It's a really hard question to answer, to be totally honest with you, because per person, I think it looks slightly different. However, there are definitely some commonalities. The big commonality is consistency is key. So if you don't have the determination to be consistent every day in following whatever this business is, you're going to fail out because it is hard. We need to make sure we're really upfront about that. Entrepreneurship, although it's glamorized, oftentimes it is a very difficult road to go down. I had a student one time ask me if my entrepreneurship class was hard. And I said, young man, if you have an aversion to hard work, entrepreneurship is not a field of study I would recommend. And he <laughs> replied, huh? But is it hard? And I said, I think for you, it would be. I never saw him again. It's probably the best decision he ever made. Probably. Honestly, the number of times I've seen people think they've seen all this social media stuff about entrepreneurship. They idolize somebody that's made it big in entrepreneurship. So they see that as the path of least resistance until they get into it and realize there's immense resistance. Yes, it's not seamless for sure. Right. So what mindset can you adopt to make it a little easier? Tenacity is the biggest characteristic of a mindset you can take on in your day-to-day. -day. No matter what task, big or small, just understanding that each day tasks have to be knocked off the list. And with that, you have to maintain a focus to keep that tenacity forward. So you have to consciously, if that's not your natural state of mind, to consciously thinking of this. That's exactly right. This has to become your baby. I always think of not just day-to-day -day operations, but I like to start with what is my long-term goal? And then I can backdrop to what type of mindset do I need to achieve that long-term goal versus just surviving the day. Right. I also think a big mindset to adopt is the jack of all trait, master of none. One of the biggest commonalities between successful entrepreneurs that I work with on a daily basis is the fact that they are constantly learning. They have enough knowledge in multiple topics to make sure that they're just well equipped enough to be dangerous in those fields. And that goes a long way because when you're in entrepreneurship, at some point, you're going to be part of a small business or a small team. So having the skill set or at least knowing how to vet people to bring them on early on the team is immensely powerful. Yeah, it's interesting in my field with academics, it's the opposite of what is encouraged because as a PhD, you become an expert on the head of a pin. You're very, very narrow and very deep where in entrepreneurship, you're not deep in specific areas, you're broad in many. Right. And I think still everyone has their zone of genius, that one thing that sets them apart, but having the mindset and the mentality to understand things outside of that zone of genius is really important. Yeah, a couple of the areas with a mindset that I think are critical, one is innovation and the other is adaptability. If you're not innovating continually, that's where it becomes very difficult and the business stagnates and actually very often never gets off the ground. 
and then being able to adapt to change because many people are very resistant to change. So being able to adapt to those nuances as the tide shifts is a critical mindset. I can't tell you the last time a day went totally according to plan for me. I do plan my days out quite a lot, at least the tasks that I'm going to try and get done that day. And by the end of it, I'm so far off track, it's hilarious. And you have to become very comfortable with that adaptability, or you will actually get very stressed out driving a business if you are not willing to go with the flow. And people around you will take on that stress. Yes, for sure. Another mindset that I think is very important that is not a natural mindset for people is leadership. Yeah, you've got to be the visionary leader in entrepreneurship. Again, you're at some point going to be part of the small team and having the captain of the ship, the visionary leader, whatever role you want to apply to that is absolutely critical to the mission. And to share that vision with the team and then to bring buy-in together so you're all moving in the same direction is not a natural mindset for most people. No, it's not. And if you do have that mindset, you're a step ahead of a lot of people, a lot of your peers in entrepreneurship. But what's very important is that can be developed. It can be. There's a lot of coaches that work specifically on that. There's a lot of books specifically on that. Mentorship is a great way. I think, you know, through your mentorship of me, I've developed a lot of leadership capabilities as well. Well, I appreciate that. Another area that falls in line with leadership is collaboration. Because while you are sharing the vision of the team, you have to have collaboration of everyone involved. And that's the balance. That's a delicate balance. It, it is a very delicate balance. A lot of people getting into entrepreneurship are oddly scared of collaboration. They think, especially bringing people on to collaborate, somehow they're going to get robbed of their idea or robbed of what makes their business stand out or robbed of their talent, whatever it is. The really successful people in entrepreneurship that I deal with quite a lot are the opposite. It's how can we all connect our brains together to develop better products in all of what we're doing, not just how can I take it? But there's an old parable associated with having resources. One individual goes out and develops those resources and grows the resources, and the other goes in, digs a hole and buries the resources so no one steals it. That very often happens with people that are afraid to share their ideas or their thoughts. They bury it. Another mindset that I think is critical is resilience, because you are continually dealing with challenges, difficulties, and to be resilient is something that you have to brace yourself to be. Right. And that's consistency. It's easy to be resilient and strong and feel like you're going to make it day to day, week to week. But it's really the month to month, the year to year, that's the beat down. Another that I think of, and we alluded to it at the beginning, but specifically is a mindset of continuous learning and skill development, because you have to proactively look to grow your knowledge. And I think that's the most important thing. As your journey in entrepreneurship continues, you're going to consistently find areas of weakness. That's inevitable, no matter how long you've been doing it. So having that ability to identify an area of weakness and then develop the skill set around it through learning is ultimately what changes people from someone that's going to just make it to someone that's going to be really successful. And that ties in with another mindset that I think of is self-confidence. And the reason I say it ties in is because you have to be self-confident enough to realize you have weaknesses and be confident enough not to let it worry you yeah. and embrace that to grow. Where some people think of self-confidence as being a braggart or being pompous, where it is really not in that area. And you actually can be very humble in your self-confidence. Yeah, I like the way you're phrasing that, right? Because the whole fake it till you make it thing gets applied to entrepreneurship a lot, especially with confidence. There's a time and a place, but as we've seen lately with the news and people faking it way past where they should have not been faking it, there is an upper threshold to where that's appropriate. And that same confidence can be applied to understanding that you're not going to have all the answers all the time. And you need to be able to either learn it, change something, or bring someone in that does have those answers. Yeah, absolutely. The last mindset that I think would be a critical one to look at would be a mindset of decision making. Because I find specifically not just startup entrepreneurs, but many entrepreneurs are afraid to make decisions. The old adage of I'd rather make the wrong decision than to make no decision takes place. Mm -hmm. 
and decision paralysis. It's a killer. It absolutely is. I abide by, you can only make, and I forget what the exact number is. I think it's a hundred decisions a day. So stacking the most important decisions you're going to make early on, I have found in my journey lead to me making better, more accurate decisions than if I'm pushing the hard decisions till late in the day and I'm having to scramble to just almost draw something out of the hat. That paralysis by analysis is one of the areas that stops many people from actually starting this business, and it's afraid to make a decision. And I think there's a fear, and we could tie back to self-confidence, there's a fear of being wrong. Oh, of course. Of course. And the reality is, you're going to be wrong. It's going to happen. It happens all the time. Every so day. It's, it's what you do with it. Oh, absolutely. Every month I look back thinking, how did I not know this? Every quarter I look back and think, why wasn't I doing this? It's insane the growth that happens quarter over quarter, month over month, which is really every day. I've got good news for you. It never stops. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> I'm sure it does. Every day I realize that I'm learning. I have other things that I need to learn. And especially in the technology front, as new things come into play, you have to have that mentality of continuous learning. That's more true now than ever with the adaptation of new technologies and how it's being brought into everyday business and the barrier to entry to these technologies is getting lower and lower. The attitude with that is you have to view it as it's fun to learn new things. You have to. That comes back to the continuous learning. It's got to be something you enjoy. Definitely. Are there any concluding thoughts that you have regarding the mindset and personal development for an entrepreneur? I would just say consistency is key. That's the overarching if you're going to take one thing out of this, you just have to do it over and over and over and over again. Well, that sounds good. And the Samson effect has not affected you with your trimming your beard. Ah, I appreciate that. <laughs> Thanks, Ryan. You have a good day. You too. Thanks for listening to our podcast. As always, you can head over to profspirit.com to check out more resources and courses designed for you, the entrepreneur. Please follow us on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, YouTube, and others to get the most up-to-date information as it is released.